Hi, this is Steve Masucci with Manhattan Construction. Uh, we build high rises, hospitals, senior healthcare uh, facilities, and you're watching Tools in Action. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today is a Kleinathon, we're gonna call it, because Klein is really killing it lately with releases. Uh, Klein is obviously one of our sponsors, so uh, we'd like to get that out in the open. But you guys, Klein has been around since Matthias Klein in 19 or 18, 1857. 1857. Matthias Klein, I think his name was, started a company. I mean, come on, how crazy is that? You start a company, you build tools, but throughout those years, 150 years. Well, what's the math? Do the math really fast. How long is that? How old is it? Well, I don't know, but what I'm thinking about is thinking about it. It's a company that made it through the Great Depression. It made it through so many times, through war times, all that, World War One, World War Two. I don't know what they did back then during that time, right. you know, but it's just amazing to see a company in the history. It just goes to show you this a lot. You have to build a good quality and be a good company in order to last all those ups and downs. Right, and know? a good thing about them, too, is they still mostly make their American... Uh, well, I was going to say, they make their American American hand American. Tools. They make their American hand, they hand tools, tools in America. No, they mostly make their hand tools in the United States, you guys. But obviously, there's some over -manufact overseas manufacturing, you know, electronic stuff like that. And maybe some hand tools also. But we've seen what they're doing in Texas, Mansfield, Texas, I believe. Mm -hmm. And you guys, they're really, really, you know, aiding the community. Just like these other companies. Which is really cool. You know, yeah, everybody's starting to do it. You know, thank you, brands. You're actually starting to see, hey, America, we need your help. You know, the economy's rolling. Let's build. Let's get some money going this job this job yes creates so to, wealth. today you guys creates wealth creates wealth i like that it does contributes to society it's awesome I yeah, think it's cool. it is capitalism at its finest you guys today we're going to talk a little bit about some new all-purpose electrical scissors and plumbing tube cutters steel cutters but uh a lot of data cabling also uh just new stuff which to come is something that was a business you were in for a long time all right yes yes and obviously you guys we're consumers just like you. We're just guys that actually have access to all this stuff. So we like sit down and throw a video up so you guys can see and get talking about it, right? We're not this channel that's going to sit in here and take this screwdriver and put it through, you know, a 40 minute video of a little screwdriver on the, you know, weaknesses and stuff of it, you know? It's got a light, most of the stuff's no, got a light. Like we just want to see what's going on. You don't necessarily want to see, I don't want to see some of the stuff in action because I don't really. Right. You know. No, but I do want to see how the crimpers work. I do want to see. So we're going to be taking this stuff out to electricians out in the field and get their feedback so uh real quick introduction basically consider this a big press release right sure yeah yeah so let's start it uh this is the thing we already talked about you guys it's the new infrared th or not infrared it's their new thermometer oh yeah yeah yep. did we talk about it we did what's so cool about it just you used it for meat that was going <laughs> what yeah, it's not food grade guys i don't think it's, it's not designed for that well, what happened but i just didn't it worked <laughs> it worked did you really stick it into meat yeah it and worked, it worked? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a cool, it's kind of a cool little uh, temperature. Why would you need something like that? Just depends on you know. A lot, I know a lot of car dealerships uh, use things like this to throw in the air conditioning vent. Yeah, to measure really that. Good. Same thing with the heat in your house stuff like you know. You just want to measure the temperature stuff. Yeah, um, forty degrees to five hundred seventy-two degrees. There's a magnet inside the probe, so it does easily attach to air vent. So if you are in a house. You know, you want to put, you got an air vent, uh, 15 minute power off, backlit LCD display. Cool stuff right there. Next we have the uh, Coax Explorer with remote. Wow, is this small. Which is what? What is that? Like uh, Coax Explorer would be uh, basically like a trace tool, right? So you can put it on there and it's going to tell you if there's a fault, if it passes or what. These are terminators that go on the end. So I could tell, like, let's say I got to be at one end, um, you know, and I put this on the cable and then I'll go to the outlet where it is and I'll put a terminator on the end. And what I'll get is a kind of a little report, a test if I have an open and a short. Oh, so like, okay, cause my, my house, I've got four of those cables running and I know only two of them work. And I haven't just traced them out, so it'd be easy but to go. But is it coax? Is it cable? It is, it is okay. for cable. So I can put one on one side, one on the other side. Okay, this is the one that actually works to the TV. This one went to the old room and is dead. I don't need that, so I can pull that one and cut that one. Yes. That's, okay, that's cool. So how it works, you guys, is you have these color-coded uh, ends here, right? Terminators, okay? Okay. So what I'll do is if we have up to four ports in our house, right? I'll put one on every single one. And then I'll hit um, the test button, right? So if I put the red on, and it'll come up red. Oh, very cool. So okay. I know exactly which one I'm hitting, oh, where really it is. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So I know what wire I'm going into, right? Right. That is very cool. I think that's really neat. 
<coughs> especially if you're going from like a base drum up to a second or third, you know, floor or something. And yeah, because if we put that on there, was there a battery in this? Yeah. Isn't that cool? So it's red. Yeah. It knows it's red. It's got a yeah, little thing cool. in there. So then if we put green on, or we'll put black. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Black. So really cool little thing, man. I mean, honestly. It just makes your life and your job much easier. It's just an helpful tool. <clears throat> well, it makes your tool bag lighter, is what it does. Yeah, it makes your life easier, too. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, some people take, they have like a VDV Commander um, that they have, which is a big, like. Is that a tool, or are you making that up? A no, it says right over there. Where? Right there in that tool, it says oh, right. Yeah, they have a video. They have a whole bunch of kind of new to market tools for diagnosing and stuff like that. You guys, this little Coax Explorer Two is pretty cool, man. Runs off two AA bat AAA batteries. Real simple. Everything's right on the tool. Hey, I, I kind of think that's cool. Next, a twisted pair radial stripper. Yeah, there's two of them, right? So what's the difference? Uh, so this one's a twisted pair combination radial stripper. Which so is RG59. This will do Coax also. That's okay. Yeah, so you slide that down, you put your coax cable in there. So how do these work, Eric? Is you put your cable in. No, no, we've done these before. And spin. And, and they, they actually, they do a good job. I like They it. usually do a good job. I mean, sometimes they need adjustment. I don't know. It looks like this one's adjustable, which is awesome, because it would be awesome if you didn't have to adjust it constantly. Um, but the, I know ones that I've used in the past, non-Klein, have been, they cut too much. There's a little screw, and you have to set the screw. And you always just make that little nick on your, you know, your inside cable, and you're just not getting... A quality yeah. piece of work. So if these are auto, that's awesome. We will check those out. Uh, four in one electronic screwdriver, you guys. We've talked about these before. Uh, I'm definitely liking these from Klein. I think that they're good little units, you know? Heavy, heavy duty, and you know, you can spin this around. Wow, this one's a total all in one. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's crazy. All right, what do we got next? I don't know, since we're already talking about that, talk about those things. Oh yeah, now they have pass-throughs, you guys. Uh, I've seen a manufacturer that had this before, I've never seen it from Klein. So basically when you're cutting your RJ45 cable or Cat6, whatever you're doing, um, you're going to cut it, you're going to use that stripper, and then you're left with these six wires, right? Yeah. Well then you have to kind of untangle them and then like cut them and make them all nice and put them in and crimp them, right? With this pass-through, you can just put orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, right through, you know? And then what you're getting is when you do the actual crimp, boom, cuts them off at the end. Oh, really? Go. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Because, yeah, I remember that. Like, when I was doing my house, I had to sit there, and then half the time it didn't work because I didn't have one in all the way or something like yeah. that. We'll do some B-roll and show you guys how that works. It's very, it's actually very pretty cool. cool. Genius. Ingenious, you guys. All-purpose electrician, scissors, and pliers, you guys. Um, everybody knows Fiskars, right? I do not. Fiskars, they make, like, scissors, you know? No, but no. now it's nice to have a tool company. We have nice the bigger ones scissors. like that, and I like them. Kleins? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're just nice for little snip snips. Snip snip. Snip snip. Snip snip. I mean, well, let's see how good they snip snip. Ready? I gotta get... Oh man, that goes pretty good. But man, I gotta get elbow surgery because I got tennis elbow and I can just, I have no squeezing power. Play a lot of tennis? Uh, no. Next is their crimper, you guys. Check this bad boy. Oh, ratcheting. So basically, once you get the wires through there, you would, that's how you crimp those, right? Right. And it says right here, it's got trim right on it. Wow. So yeah, this is designed is for pass-through, you guys. So you put the pass-through oh, on. Are heavy duty. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice pair of crimpers right there. And that's what you want. You want a nice pair of crimpers out there. Because the worst thing is, is, I mean, and you guys, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've installed a lot of networks, you know, when I was younger. Um, it's not my thing anymore. I'm probably not as expert as you guys or anything like that. Um, and I probably wasn't even really an expert, you know. Well, in your own eyes, you were. In my own eyes, I were. But one thing I did know is that I've had cheap crimpers and I've had good crimpers. And the cheap crimpers suck because they always never leave an even crimp, right? They'll either go down on one side, so like, you know, the orange cables, you know, not crimped. It's horrible. And that's the thing, you guys, when you're running networks, when you're running data, you need these things to be solid, right? This is something that really a tradesman should be doing because it just needs to be quality, done right the first time so there's no diagnostic, diagnostic issues down the road because that's what costs money, that's what costs time. And I believe that that tool is definitely going to save you. Uh, well, I like because it's got the uh, legend on there where it tells you exactly what color has got to go where. Oh, yeah. I like that. I know. Here, I'm going to tell me if I'm right. Ready? For what 
What are you doing? Orange, white, orange, green, hold white, on, hold blue. Hold on, go slow down. Okay, go what? The one that starts. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. That was fast, but it looks right. No, seriously, was it? Orange, I think white, orange. Orange, white, orange, yeah. Green, white, green. No. No, wait. Green, white, blue. Yeah. Blue, white, green. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And then the last brown, one. white, brown. I must. No, you're right, dude. You got and it. I used all my brain power's brain gone power, for the day. The light went out. These I like. These are cool. <clears throat> what do we got? PVC cutters. I like. I don't. It's gotta be to one inch, right? Yeah, one inch. But they're just nice. I love having a nice pair of PVC cutters. You cut a lot of PVC. Do you? Wow, these are. I do actually. Magnesium. I do. They're nice. Feel light there? Yeah. I mean, why would I need it like just because it's light in your bag? Well, yeah, like you were saying earlier, lighter tool belt. Yeah. You know, once you start getting a whole bunch of tools, if you can light, lighten up your load by even a pound. Man, that know? is light. Yeah. That is light. But sometimes you you, you confuse light with cheapness, Cheap. right? But I don't feel like this feels cheap at all. No. I mean, I wonder how strong magnesium is compared to steel. Oh, compared to steel? I don't know. I mean, what would these be made out of? Steel? I but, would think normally they would, or I've, I've seen ones where they're, like they're plastic handles, but they end up breaking. Yeah, these actually feel on the ground. These actually feel good quality. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, uh, mini tube cutter, you guys. Definitely all metal. Is that plastic? We've done plastic this before. But this yeah, but the again. most important thing on these bearings, the rollers, and they feel nice. Yeah. Yeah, you want nice rollers because if you, I one time I had a bearing go out in one of the rollers and it was just such a pain and I had to get the cut done. And it is here's, a pain. You guys, last but not least, the telescopic multi pickup tool. Uh, basically, what this does is you lose something, boom. And the head flexes too on that. And the head flexes, and then if you can't, you need to look at it. Check this out. No. Ooh, how cool is that? Right. That's nice. I like that. Now, what what kind of man? What kind of situation would you use this on? Oh, it's easy to even replace the wheel on here, which I like. That's oh, nice. really? Where would what? Where would you, uh... I don't know, say you're in an automotive, you drop a, a screw down somewhere down in the uh, engine compartment, you can pick it up, or... If or an electrician is dropping stuff down in the back, or in the panels, you get a deep panel or yeah, something. Yeah, right, exactly. Or something, you know what I think it would be used for? You're doing something with steel studs, you drop the screw, boom, it's down. Maybe not steel studs, because it would stick to the steel stud. I don't know what you mean by that. But like, you know how stuff falls down all the time and cracks? Yeah. You know, or... Like you, french fries in the middle of my seat. Yeah. Between my seat Man, and my wouldn't console. it be cool if it just picks up french fries? Oh, that would be awesome. The french fries picker-upper? It only picks up french fries. We'd be rich. You could take it, dip it, and uh, um, catch up and hurt. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe, you couldn't see the infomercial now? Oh, uh, you, you that see, would be like the number one seller. Yeah, you just see like ladies in minivans. You pull up, yeah. and fries <laughs> falling everywhere. But they're like, Bleh, you know? Yeah. Hey. That is cool, though. I like it. I like it's compact. It is cool. Sense. You know what I like? I mean, remember back in the day, your car antenna, how cheesy it felt? Oh, I mean, yeah. dude, this is solid. This is like a solid aluminum or something. Back in the day, my Ford antenna is still cheap. I can't even believe I still have an antenna on my car. Cool stuff, you That's guys. Cool. It's got a light. Did you say that? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool stuff, you guys. Fun climb. Most of this stuff has a lifetime warranty. In fact, I don't know. Does that have a lifetime warranty, Henry? <coughs> I don't know if that one does, but the handfuls do. Oh, it doesn't even say it. It makes you go to the website. That I never understood. Warranty, Why? client tool slash warranty. Why? Because it gets you to their website. It's marketing, right? Conversions, people, get them over, get them clicking. You guys, all in all, Climb is a really good brand. Um, they definitely make some good stuff. Still a family owned business, which is cool. Yes, it's good to see. Uh, and they're, they're really nice. We've met some of the family. Really nice. Just really yeah. nice down to earth people, you know? <coughs> they're people um, you'd walk next to in the store and you could actually relate to and they're just cool. They're right, and they're people. helpful of their they community. Be, oh, yeah, yeah. They realize that, hey. They're this, proud of their community. Yep, and they're proud to help it. Uh, so it's kind of cool seeing them get into all this tech, technical. Hand tool stuff. <sighs> Can't talk today. Because you used all the brain power. I wanted to say technology, technological advantages. Technological, technological advances. Say that advantages. Technological advances. Advances. Say it advances or advantages. Advances. This is like advances. This is technical. <sighs> say it five times. I can't even say it once. You guys, tools in action. Hashtag TA crew. If you can say that five times, record a video and send it to us. You guys, start recording videos. Say hey, this is tools in action. I'm, Say your name. We'll I'm Jeremy. Action. Whatever. We'll put you out of channel. Yes, we'll put you out of channel. So if you want to end your career, that's what There's you do. There's places go. You know, careers end right here. Tools in action, you guys. Check it out. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.